point is to stop drug uh, drugs and alcoholism by just nev people well, never well, starting? Well, you too believe in this fantasy of addiction in which people lose... Fantasy all, of addiction. No, complete fantasy, fantasy well, in, which, in which people lose, lose, <laughs> lose, the, lose, lose all, all, all power over themselves and, bec and become victims of this terrible, frightening disease. But right after, now you're well, wait, wait, quoting... Let me finish. This is what you believe, this terrible, frightening disease mm -hmm. after which they cannot stop taking drugs. If you really believe that, yeah. then you would presumably think the best thing would be that they never, ever came in contact with those of drugs. Course. Of course. Wouldn't it therefore be wise to to deter them from doing so yes. by a stern and effective criminal no. justice system which <laughs> actually persuaded them it was unwise to right. take the drugs in the first place. When, when do I get to speak? Right. I'm if dying really to speak. If you really believe speak, in it, speak, you, speak. When me. can I speak? Speak. <laughs> okay, so... I didn't come here to be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> well, neither did I. No, I, I, didn't, so I didn't come here to listen to ludicrous things like that either. <laughs> so well, you tell me why it's ludicrous if you're so close. I will. It I will. Look. The American Medical Association diagnosed it a disease in 1976, so you're saying that that's incorrect. I'm so, look, I'm so, uh, people. Uh, are you saying me, that that's the incorrect? medical profession is constantly doing extraordinary things. The American Psychiatric Association said for years that homosexuality Peter, was a disease. Peter, the key thing they is they were wrong. The All kinds of things Peter, were said by medical profession. The key thing is we've had this true. policy What's for 50, 50 years. We've had this policy. My life. Of, of my life is the objective. Of treating evidence. addiction as a crime. 50 years, no, we and we now know that it doesn't work. It doesn't work anywhere in the world, increasingly in the U.S., Uruguay, and okay. elsewhere, and in Europe, your things point, are changing. My life is, I, I'm, a, I'm a drug addict. I'm a person that if I have a drink, I can't stop. And so it would be following your ideology that I'm choosing to do that, that yeah, I'm choosing. That's exactly my Not my ideology, it is my belief. Yes, you do choose. It is, and, it's, and it's a belief that you wrote in your book. Correct. You, you have a choice over Would, whether, you, whether you drink or not. You have a choice no. over. But your book is the only book in modern times that has this ideology. Yeah. So doesn't that teach you something? Well, it's quite often, quite, quite often, unfashionable ideas are unfashionable <laughs> because they are unpopular with, 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 with influential <laughs> people. Doesn't necessarily bother me. You tell me what the objective diagnosis is to, to establish the existence of addiction in the human body. It's an allergy of the body, and it's an. <laughs> we're supposed, you, we're supposed, of what? It, we're supposed to be grown men here, and you're making faces like no, the guy no, no, who's just, like I the I guy just, who's it, like it, the guy who's wearing the pants that you were talking about earlier. I'm expecting you to come out in the pants in a minute. <laughs> it's a objection. It's an obsession of your mind and an allergy of your body. So this is what happens to me. I start thinking about alcohol. I can't stop. I can't stop thinking about it. What?